subscribe to our channel, and help us to spread the word. Catholic Meditation, March 4th, 2024. Lent, Freely 20. Thirsty for love. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts. On the journey of Lent, I want to hear your voice, feel your cries, your calls as the Good Shepherd. Hey, however, it seems that my ears are blocked, filled with dirt, bad desires, negative experiences. Then you come to me. St. John narrates it. At that time, Jesus came to a Samaritan town called Sychar, near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, tired from the journey, was sitting there by the well. It was around noon. The apostles had gone to the town to buy provisions. You stay there, sitting and waiting for me. You are tired. The journey has been long. The sun is scorching. You wait for me. You thirst for my love. And the evangelist continues. A Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Once again, the woman hides from everyone and goes to fetch water in the full sun. You wait for her. She is surprised that you ask her, that you humble yourself. To find me, Lord, you forget your weariness. You approach me slowly. You speak to me of living water, of another water, of a reality greater than what I can see and touch. I listen. Those who drink of this water will be thirsty again, but those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The God-man approaches this woman in need of love, of genuine love. She has sought to quench her thirst for love with fleeting affections. Jesus shows her that in his heart there is a spring of eternal love. The Master begins to open her heart, closed and obstructed by selfishness. Desire is born within her. The woman says to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. He says to her, Go, call your husband and come back. The woman answers him, I have no husband. Jesus says to her, You are right in saying, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Woman, Believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know, we worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, and is now here, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father seeks such as these to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to Him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. Jesus, you heal my soul, reveal my selfishness, my lack of love, the fluttering from flower to flower, the fear of truly loving. Master, you offer me your love, give me living water, quench my insatiable thirst. You teach me everything. Show me the joy of a pure heart, of authentic, eternal love, the joy of seeing from your love. The Samaritan woman leaves her water jar, goes to the town, and without fear, without any shame, she proclaims to all the love of Jesus. She has already drunk from his water. Come and see a man who told me everything I have ever done. He cannot be the Messiah, can he? Mary, you wait for me every day with Jesus, by the well, in my work, in my family, in the ordinary. And when I come thirsty, you say to your son, go, show him. If you enjoyed this guided meditation, 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And now, after this brief guided meditation, we will continue with a theological commentary on the passage Jan 4, 5 minus 42. The passage from John 4 is a fascinating narrative that recounts Jesus' encounter with the Samaritan woman at the well of Jacob. This episode not only highlights Jesus' compassion and ability to transcend cultural barriers, but also delves into significant theological themes. Firstly, it is crucial to emphasize the cultural context of the conversation. The Samaritan woman is astonished that Jesus, being a Jew, would speak to her. A Samaritan. Historical and cultural tensions between Jews and Samaritans were intense, and this encounter challenges the social norms of the time. Jesus breaks down cultural barriers and reveals the universality of his message of salvation, showing that God's grace is not limited by ethnic or social boundary. Secondly, the well in this passage symbolizes more than just the physical source of water. Jesus uses water as a metaphor to point to spiritual thirst and the need for divine grace. When Jesus offers living water, he is speaking of the deep and lasting satisfaction that can only come from a relationship with God. This imagery reflects Jesus' central teaching about himself as the source of life and salvation. Furthermore, the dialogue between Jesus and the woman reveals the importance of worship in spirit and truth. Jesus tells the woman that a time will come when true worship will not be confined to physical locations, such as Mount Gerizim or Jerusalem, but will be in spirit and truth. This highlights the importance of a sincere and spiritual connection with God, regardless of external religious practices. The woman's response to Jesus is also significant. She becomes a messenger, spreading the news of Jesus to her community. This act underscores the transformative power of encountering Christ and how genuine faith should be shared with others. In conclusion, John 4 provides a rich theological reflection on the universality of Jesus' message, the importance of sincere worship, and the transformative power of a genuine encounter with Christ. It also underscores the need to overcome cultural and social divisions to embrace the spiritual truth that Jesus offered.